We've been growing uh, steadily over the last several years, and uh, there's really there's two sides of this. There's the sugar cone production where we're really uh, tight on capacity now. We picked up some new customers, and we need to add several new ovens uh, here in our Hermitage facility. BusinessJournalDaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. So right here we have our batter lines coming into our batter pan. So we just saw the batter being mixed in our batter room. It gets pump, pumped into here, and then this pump here is distributing the batter into the mold. And then it comes out as a full, fully formed cake cone. My grandfather started the business in 1918, and uh, my father, uh, Joe George, took over in 1964. Uh, I transitioned into president uh, in 2011. There's actually two expansions that we're, okay. we're going to be doing. The first one uh, is our, an expansion of a new sugar cone batter room. Uh, the current one that we have uh, supplies, of course, our sugar and waffle cone room, but we are adding equipment and we need much more capacity. So our drawings are out. Uh, we've just received the bids in from our contractors. Uh, we've not yet selected one, uh, but we plan to do that in the next week or two and uh, hope to get started on construction uh, in the next couple of months. We've expanded a lot in the size of the business, the volume of the business, but also in the automation. So we've done a lot to improve automation. We've added automated case packers, automated gardeners, and actually quite a few robots. Uh, during that time, though, we've also expanded our employment and added a lot more employees. Our capacity is over 10 million cones per day. The most interesting thing I see happening here is just the overall growth and expansion of the business. Uh, you know, we, we've, when I started here 17 years ago, um, we had around 250 employees. We're now over 700 here at the Hermitage site. So the other exciting thing is the addition of our other plant that's making the ice cream sandwich wafers and cookies that are ground up and used in the ice cream. The other expansion is uh, at our cookie plant, which is just up the road from here. Uh, that'll be a, a larger expansion. Uh, we've not yet finalized our drawings. Uh, we hope to have that put together by the end of June this month and get them out to contractors and then uh, uh, receive our bids and, and make selections after that. There are delays we're hearing in, in resources um, that contractors are running into, so it's possible this uh, project will be delayed, unfortunately. Between the two expansions, it'll be over $20 million. We've been growing uh, steadily over the last several years, and uh, there's really there's two sides of this. There's the sugar cone production where we're really uh, tight on capacity now. We picked up some new customers and we need to add several new ovens uh, here in our Hermitage facility. Uh, so we have the space uh, to put the ovens in, but we need the extra, the batter room to, to supply those ovens. Uh, on the cookie side, um, our cookie plant has one cookie oven and one wafer oven. A wafer oven is used for making ice cream sandwiches. And we are out of capacity on our cookie line, so we need a, an additional oven uh, for that. Uh, these, the cookie oven that we currently have is exclusively used in what we call the industrial market. So we make cookies, chop them up, and we sell them as inclusions to ice cream manufacturers who would then mix them in their ice cream. Uh, this new oven uh, will help us with that capacity, uh, but also give us um, the capacity to get into the retail cookie line, cookie market. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com. BusinessJournalDaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong.